Hey guys. Hey everyone. So the, the topic of this video today is the top five reasons Madison sucks to live in. So if you're thinking about moving to Madison or if you're, or if you're wondering what it's like to live here in Madison, uh, this video is for you if you're interested to find out what parts of it suck. So we actually help people all the time find perfect houses for them here in the Madison area. If you're considering moving here and you'd like help, we would love to help you. So you can reach us by either email, call or text this guy. The information is going to pop up on the screen. And also to stay in touch with us, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel here to find out all the information you need to know before moving here to Madison, Wisconsin. So the topic of the video today again is the top five reasons Madison sucks. I, you might be wondering like, why would they be doing a video on why it sucks, <laughs> right? Because So the reality is we really just want you to know like the whole story. We're not gonna sugarcoat it. We don't want you to move to a place that you're gonna end, ultimately end up hating. We want you to love it as much as we do. And what I can tell you is like the number one thing, well, I won't know. I don't know if it's really that order, but one of the big things that you know people around here will complain about is traffic on the belt line. Right, so we live in a city of I don't know the, with the with the I metro think it's area. It's about five hundred thousand. Like, yeah, um, say about half a million so. as a metro area, but you know three hundred thousand in Madison and then the suburbs. So we have this highway that kind of runs from east to west. Um, that basically, if you live on one side of town, you work on the other side of town. It's usually the route you're going to take. Um, it's the most direct, fastest way, um, and traffic does get congested there. But that, it's not like other towns. It's, it's, not, it's not like Atlanta or LA or something like that. Or Chicago or even Milwaukee. It is it is easy breezy compared to most people's rush hour, but we just have to slow down to like sometimes twenty five miles an hour instead of, you know, right. eighty five like they're trying to drive. <laughs> yeah. So, so um beltline traffic is probably the number one thing people would complain about in terms of traffic. Other other bad traffic is like downtown through the Isthmus area on University Avenue, John Nolan Drive. And sometimes Drive, people complain like about bikes, bikers. There's a lot of bikers around here, so sometimes people complain about that as well. If, if you want to complain about bikers, maybe you would. Yeah. So. So, okay, the next thing on the list um, after cons or after the traffic is uh, mosquitoes. <laughs> they, we... I don't remember how many species of, of mosquitoes exist, but I truly think I heard that Wisconsin has every single one of those. And probably species. some extras. I don't know. It's we might, we might be bad. making new ones here in Wisconsin. <laughs> in the summertime, um, especially when it's wet summers, we do get Well, a when lot we get the really wet, if we have a really wet spring, our summer is going to be really rough with mosquitoes. Yeah, there are ways that we deal with that. Um, we actually spray our yard with garlic, a garlic spray, and it actually helps tremendously to keep the mosquitoes off of our property. In fact, when we go in our neighbor's yard to talk to her, we will step back into our yard because our yard's been sprayed by the garlic and hers isn't. It makes a huge difference. So there are ways around it. There are ways that you can live with it. And it's not like it's not like we're keeping out vampires or something here. <laughs> and just... Every year is different. Like we said, if we have a really wet spring or if in the middle of summer it tends to get really wet, then there seems to be like two hatchings for yeah. some reason. Like right away in the spring, if it's really wet, then you're going to have a lot of mosquitoes right away in the summer. If that's not the case, but you end up with a really wet midsummer, you'll and, have a lot of mosquitoes. And it's not like during the summer. day, you really don't typically have mosquitoes out until right. nighttime, yeah. um, until like evening area. So like, for example, I played softball for a while and it was kind of crazy. You'd be out there and you'd look at the lights and just be like, bzz, all these mosquitoes flying around. So it's, it's during that time that they get pretty bad. It's there has only no been um, one year when that wasn't the case. And it was really, really, really wet. We actually had to put uh, mosquito spray on our kids to send them off to school in the mornings because the mosquitoes were so bad. That's not typical, but we do get mosquitoes. There are ways around it. There are things that you can do. And I'm itching um, out because I to prevent about mosquitoes. It. <laughs> so uh, the next thing on the list is construction. So that's, that's actually one of the seasons here. I know that you get, might not know it, but this is, we don't call it summer here. We call it construction. Right. <laughs> you can't really do road construction in the wintertime in Wisconsin. So all the road construction projects end up being in the summertime for the most part. So we, it's like 
winter, spring, construction, and fall uh, <laughs> here in Wisconsin. So people, a lot of people complain about the construction, but if they didn't fix the roads, I guarantee you they'd be complaining about the roads being crappy too. I can tell you we've been in areas of the country that they don't seem to have a construction season and it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so That's true. And, and honestly, I mean, construction brings a lot of jobs. There's a lot of good to it, but we're we're talking about the crappy reasons, right? So I guess I won't I won't spin it at all positive. <laughs> so um, yeah, so road construction is an issue um, that you're going to run into here in the summertime. Um, the next one is sort of a lack of public transportation this compared one, to other big cities, which is maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing. It just depends on how um, how you get around and what your needs are. And I think this is the one that I I really latched on to because. Um, when we went to New York City, we went to some of the bigger cities, and we kind of hung out and um, traveled for a while. Um, it was one of the things that was like, oh, that's kind of neat how I can just, I don't even need a car in these cities. Right. Um, Madison's not really one of those cities that you can, I mean, you can, there's people that do it, don't get me wrong, um, but it's not one that you're probably going to be all that comfortable not having a car here, because, you know, when you look at some of the bigger box stores, stuff like that, it, it's a ways away, and it's just not the most convenient way to travel. Right, a car is definitely more convenient um, than having to rely on um, buses or Ubers, Lyft, things like that. Although we have all of those things, and the bus system actually in Madison is very, very good. But outside of Madison, not so much. You know, one, of the, I, one of the things I haven't seen very much around here that we see in some of the other communities like Nashville, we go to Tennessee or something like that, some of the other cities, like those Lyft scooters and stuff. I haven't seen a lot of those down here yeah, yet. I don't know if we have those. We do so. have the rental bikes though. Yep, where yep. you can like, electric play they have, I think they have electric ones too don't they and rent a bike so. those are uh in in downtown area mostly yeah because um, you can rent from one area you can actually drop off in another area yeah so. yeah it's down by campus and and all that so the number five on the list this is, is number one reason <laughs> and i this is we saved it for last uh, <laughs> well, i gonna... made the list and he cracked up but in the winter time one of the worst things about living in wisconsin is that your snot will freeze so you're going to walk outside and your nose is going to get all crusty. <laughs> well, if you live in Wisconsin, you went outside in the wintertime, you all have felt this at some point. You do know, your, you know the inside of your nose is going to freeze at some point in the wintertime, and it's not necessarily the most comfortable thing. Actually, the other thing that I hate about wintertime in, in um, Wisconsin is the parking lots get all slushy. So, like, you're wearing your yeah. boots and you're slugging through all this, like, snow that was cloud but not all of it so that it's like wet kind of slushy brown stuff that sucks too I, you know then when you after the snow melts and stuff too it gets pretty muddy yeah so yeah and then it turns beautiful and green and the flowers are starting to grow so it's all it's all you know it's, it's all part, part of, of the life plan. it's part <laughs> of the plan um things that you have to live with so if you can live with frozen snot and slush it's and not little, it's not always frozen it, it does <laughs> fall out <laughs> <laughs> and it's not every day in the winter time. It's only a few of those days. Uh, and you can deal with construction and you can deal with uh, putting up with some mosquitoes and, you know, a few minutes extra on your commute from the east side to the west side or the west side to the east side. Then Madison might be the town for you. If it is, we would absolutely love to help you find a perfect place for you and your family if that's the case and and get you settled in here in a place that you'll really really enjoy if you have any questions we'd absolutely be able we be able to help you answer those questions um get you the answers that you need so that you can make an informed decision as you're trying to decide whether or not madison is the right place for you if you know it's the right place for you give us a call shoot us a text you're going to talk to this guy right here send us an email we'll be able to answer all your questions we'll be able to get you set up on a house search to help you find that perfect place for you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and so you don't miss any of the other information that we're handing out here so you guys can know exactly what you're getting into before you come here. Sounds great. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.